Welcome inside the dugout, powered by CubaDugout.com, your source for discovering Cuban baseball. Victor Victor Mesa, the player so nice they named him twice. He is the son of Cuban legend Victor Mesa. Senior was a star for Villa Clara. Mesa was the table setter for Cuba's strongest national teams. He was a lightning rod as a player and later as the manager for the national team. Victor Mesa might be the spiritual combination of Ricky Henderson and Billy Martin. Victor Victor and younger brother Victor Jr. were considered the top prizes in the 2018 international free agent market. The Marlins reeled in both young Cubans. Victor Victor signed for the biggest bonus during the period at $5.25 million. Victor Jr., four years his junior, received $1.25 million. Will the brothers have a place at the Major League table? Let's get inside the dugout and find out. Born July 20th, 1998, Victor Victor is 5'11 and 185 pounds. He is a right-handed natural center fielder who possesses many of the athletic tools of his father. Mesa Sr. once led the Cuban National Series in stolen bases in 14 out of 15 seasons. Many players debut very young in the National Series. Few receive a full-time starting job at just 15 years of age. Claims of nepotism abounded when Victor Victor was given this opportunity. Mesa received just this opportunity with Matanzas, many claiming because his father was the manager. Mesa was 11 years younger than the average Cuban player. Because of this, he initially appeared overmatched. He hit a paltry 194 that first season. The faith from Papa paid off in subsequent seasons, though. Victor Victor made huge strides in the next few years, and his prospect stock rose with it. His age 19 season would be his peak in Cuba. 40 stolen bases in 75 games accompanied a 357 batting average and 403 on base percentage. The young speedster would move to Havana and become the starting center fielder for Industrialis. Victor Sr. was also named the new manager of Industrialis. This didn't help the concerns over nepotism, but did put him at the front of the national spotlight. He appeared on the prospect radar as well as the Cuban national team. The national team is not what it once was as defections in the 2010s left the cupboard depleted. Mesa would soon follow the same path, adding to the troubles for the former international powerhouse. The defections of the brothers surprised quite a few. Mesa Sr. has been vocal in his support of the government. However, many feel he is an opportunist or at least a self-promoter. The belief is that he was talking out of both sides of his mouth and was always eyeing the major leagues for his sons. This attitude is a great snapshot into the psyche of modern day Cuba. National pride is still rampant, but the lure of playing for currency over country is now stronger. Due to this, the island is struggling with balancing the baseball health on the island, while top talent leaves for the chances to excel in pro leagues. Victor Victor's ascension in Cuba outlines the hope for the type of player he can be at the top level. Mesa projects as a leadoff contact machine with elite base stealing skill. His top skill is his outfield defense in center field. He did win a minor league gold glove for his exceptional defense. The physical tools are real, but since his breakout season, he has battled injuries. Mesa's batting numbers have suffered, first on the island and in his first pro season. His prospect status has taken a hit after an underwhelming debut in 2019. He split that season between A-ball and double-A, but did rebound slightly in the Arizona Fall League. He was selected as an all-star in the Fall League. The Miami Marlins surprised many in 2020. COVID-19 decimated the clubhouse, yet they still made the playoffs. Coronavirus also wiped out the 2020 minor league season. Ranking minor league systems in 2021 is harder than it has ever been. Mesa has fallen from the number 14 prospect to number 29 in the Maryland system. His brother has surpassed him in these rankings. In the minors, you can get old very quick. Victor Victor is still just 24 years old, but finds himself relatively mature in a now stocked Maryland system. 2021 might be a make or break season. The original spring training invite list didn't include Mesa. He was given the chance to show what he could do in a small doses, but Miami has since sent him to their Miami camp. Mesa, for his part, is staying optimistic. Victor Victor spent the 2020 lost minor league season working on his physical condition. He doesn't feel any pressure to make the major league squad this spring or even this year. Mesa does realize that this year will be very pivotal. 
He will have to show the promise that led to his large signing bonus. He plans to continue to work on his skills and worry less about where he is playing. Victor Victor is expected to start the year back in AA. A quick promotion to AAA might indicate the reestablishment of his prospect status. As always, subscribe here on YouTube, smash the like button like a hanging slider, or share this video.